You're at a party you were invited to by a good friend. They promise not to leave you, but ultimately you're in a corner sitting alone as they want to blend. And then it happens, a stranger comes over to chat with you. You think to yourself, oh dear, as they pull up a chair and sit right in front of your view. As you anticipate their first words, which words would you rather first hear? Hello, I'm such and such, what are you doing here? Or this party is horrible, not enough food, the music stinks, what do you think could add some cheer? You'd suspect most would admit liking the latter of the two, because one can jump on board quickly and add their, their two cents, it's such an easier icebreaker to go through. And you know that complaining is an often used form of communication, one that's particularly effective for connecting quickly, even adding speed to a friendship's formation. However, you should ask yourself, is this type the person I want to be with in a long-term friendship? Where we pick apart others to no end as the basis of our relationship? Your answer, of course, is no, because the Bible teaches us not to complain and belittling others so the complainers can gain power or control at another's expense is something from which we should abstain. For in this moment you realize someone is doing their best to give a party to cherish their friends, but a complainer makes it their business to find flaws in those good works so he can gain some dividends. So after careful thought you decide you'd rather have a stranger to approach you is less sincere, while realizing you'll have to live with the old pickup line of, what's a pretty girl like you doing here? I'm Lori Stith, the Stoicist, your Christian life coach, and I believe in you. If you like what you mentally now see, Join my website to learn and think like me at stoicmatchmaker.com.